Hey, uh, GCP here once again. Um, so, I landed on this uh, piece online. It's basically a car wireless charger. Uh, I want to see uh, what it can do, do for us. Uh, let's just go and uh, unpack. Um, let me first take you around. So, this is how it is. Say it is um, 15 watts. Uh, it's a Q88 wireless fast charging. These are some of the specs. Uh, it can charge for iPhones, uh, that range, P4, that range, as well as um, Samsung from uh, S6 to S8 Plus. It might not work as a charger for you, but I found out it can also work as um, a phone holder. We shall see how it does that. Okay, let's just go in and uh, unpack and we'll see what's up. I ordered for a black one, that's why we have this black spot, so in case you happen to order, uh, focus on the color, some are silver, white, this is black. So, begin with, these are the pins, the magnetic, this is for C, C as for the on the box, so we have um, iOS joint, um, C type joint, and Android joints. Well, so this is the C pin. So we have um, the iOS pin, and we have um, a micro USB. Okay, those are the pins. Uh -huh. uh, we have the holder. This is the one which goes into a uh, charger and to the car. Shall be looking at how it does that. Here's the lock. And we have the USB cable for connecting it to, uh, to the car uh, charging port. As um, a USB to Type C. Then we have the actual charging units. You can see it's already powered. So basically, how this one comes this is its battery. It uh, does the charging. This is where you lock into a spool and then uh, you can you hug it on um, somewhere in the car. Um, has uh, the adjusting button. Um, this basically it's very very sensitive. For releasing and um, releasing the holders for you to put the phone. Then we have this button for charging. So basically, why they call this uh, it wireless is because uh, it comes with its own charging battery in there. But uh, it also will require charging at some point, so you have to plug in here for it to charge so this is where you plug in this cable then uh, this one goes to um, charging port in the car or the USB port in the car then um, this is where these pins go so here down here this is where the port is. It has a magnet, so the pin goes in directly. So just to check all the pins. We just go in very fast. The only challenge is will it fit in your phone? Because these are the actuals that do the job. Okay, so let's try in the phone and see how it works. So uh, here we have a readme, uh, Note 12, I will try to connect it in and see, press here, it opens, it in, uh, but uh, of course I have to use the right pin if I'm to charge it, but uh, remember uh, the readme is not on the list, so uh, chances 
use it might not charge it but it makes a good holder for it uh, let me just use this pin and see that is the C okay so it's in but uh, it makes a very good holder for it what makes a difference is the pins you can get the pin that does for the phone because uh, this is where the, the difference is these pins if you get one that fits your phone this charger can become like a universal one for you so it charges all but what matters is getting the right pin so if you want to use it and uh, you don't have the right pin just uh, go on the net um, just look uh, look for this type of pin that fits your phone and you'll be good to go with your uh, wireless charger but the holder works for all it's uh it's very big enough it can fit most of the phones so um, we shall try it in the car see how it does the job so uh, i will finish setting it up now i want to try it on the can i see so we already have everything set the charging part everything now this is a side yard and scene uh been able to connect the, this holder you put in it in here insert it in here and then you tighten this make it fit then um this hook is adjustable from here so once you plug it in um, then you adjust for it to hold i'll be uh, putting it right here just like this oh well this is the most recommended location but if you have a better one that, um, that can hold it that doesn't compromise uh, the freedom of adjusting um, that area for for your uh for your air conditioner then uh, it's a better option uh something else i hadn't uh, told you about in case you are not able to use um the wireless charging area um this piece is removable all you have to do is um plug it out So it means uh, what is going to happen is uh, this is no longer going to be a wireless charging um, uh, holder, it will become a holder. So meaning um, instead of using this cable um, for charging the battery, we well, once in a while because this holder has to be charged, it's automated. Because it has to be charged, if it loses power, you have to charge it. But for now, we shall just plug out this cable we shall be using it for charging our phone so i already have uh, this plugged into the cigarette lighter area mm, this here has to uh also you can always get whatever you want i plug it in and um okay then plug in and you're charging you bring your holder ah so you're doing both charging and holding but you're not using the wireless option because uh, maybe your pin doesn't work or so this is the only part that does the magic for uh, the wireless charging so should you not be able to do that it can it can still work like this if your pins are able to work you can use it the same way all right so um, uh, plugging in is as easy as um, maybe first remove our phone oh. so i'm going to adjust it out maximum allow it to grip and then adjust to hold 
Okay, so that's it. The return is automated, so you have to make sure it sits before the return. And there it is. Phone is charging using this cable. Um, should you need to use it maybe for, um, in case you don't have any other option for GPS and you want to use your phone, uh, you can adjust it as well. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, the location you put it is entirely up to you. Make sure it sits at the bottom well. The holder has a good grip. So how to fit it is what matters. Right, um, that's it. Uh, thank you. Please comment, like, um, subscribe.